We're also very fortunate to have a Visitor One system, which allows visiting surgeons or elect physiologists or other physicians to watch what we're doing from really anywhere in the United States. They can uh, log securely onto our website, and as you can see here, see what we're doing and learn about what we're doing here at the Reed Heart Center in treating atrial fibrillation. As I've said earlier, we make a small incision just beneath the breastbone. Uh, that incision is then extended into the abdomen, and I can insert my finger then into the abdomen and place these small trocars into the abdomen, which allow me to place instruments that I can then operate on the diaphragm and op operate on the heart with. The, uh, as you can see here, uh, the camera uh, allows me to visualize the heart endoscopically, and the instruments are very small, just normal endoscopic uh, instruments uh, that we use to open the diaphragm. We use a Carl Storch camera because it, it allows us to see high def images and also is, eliminates a lot of the risk of um, injury to the heart during the procedure. The left lobe of the liver is visualized here and this is an endoscopic view of the abdomen looking up towards the head from the belly button. You can see the liver, the falciform ligament, and you can even see the heart beating on the other side of the diaphragm through the uh, white portion of the diaphragm. That white portion is called the central tendon. And you can see with these instruments, I'm able to open the peritoneum, the lining of the belly, and then open that...